Hi there. Welcome to my build of this 45 inch wingspan new era 3. Now in the last video I got the basic skeleton of the two wings finished. You can see one hanging up here. Now before I do anything else, before I continue joining the wings together or doing the sheeting, I need to think about the placement of the servos because I'm doing away with this central servo and I'm going to put in two wing servos. So I need to think about the mounting for that and, and build that. But also I need to put in the hardwood mounts for the main landing gear which is situated within the wings. So first of all I'm going to do the landing gear and then I'm going to do the mounting for the servos. So I'll show you what I've come up with on the bench and how I'm going to do that. Well the landing gear is really straightforward and I'm building it exactly as per plans and what we've got is a piece of quarter inch ply which is going to be sunk into the ribs so I'm going to cut a slot into the ribs and sink that down so it's flush with the top of the ribs. I haven't done the slots yet, I personally I prefer to build the wing work out what bit of wood I'm going to be using and then cut the slots to fit rather than trimming the ribs before I actually build the wing but that's just my personal preference so that's going to go there like that I've got a couple of uh, this is six no, uh, 1.5 mil ply and that is going to go on to there like that so that's 1 16th ply and these are just strengthening uh, pieces to strengthen the uh, the rib and they butt up against the spar uh, like that. So what I think I'm probably going to do is glue those pieces on, those strengtheners on, get them in place and then I'll probably use my razor saw to carefully cut the slot in the rib for that piece of ply to sit down into. What we've then got to do is add another piece of quarter inch 6mm ply which is going to fit going down the side of the rib like that and this this is the anti-torsion bar and it will stop the landing gear wire which will come down it will run in this slot and then it will dive down into the wing and it will just stop that from twisting backwards and forwards with the pressure on the wheel now I put a I put a slot in this only a very shallow slot and the reason being I'm I've got this 1 8 steel wire, music wire, whatever you call it, um, and I've got these clips which don't exactly, well, the, if you put the, the wire on, the clips just rock a little bit because the wire sticks out a little bit at the bottom of the clips and they will just, that will just fit into there and, and attach really nice and secure and the slot in the, in, in the wood will just help it from twisting it and helping it uh, be a bit more secure. I don't know whether I explained that very well but it will just it will just make that uh, sit nicer in there. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to let's just get that away. I'm going to glue these on I'm going to, against the spar I'm going to profile them so they don't stick proud of the ribs then I'm going to use my razor saw cut that down and put that block on. I'm going to use epoxy for all of this and then I will, once I've got it all set up, I will drill my 1 8 hole in here to create the, uh, the, the hole for the, in the torsion block. So I'll get on and do that now and then we'll come back and we'll have a look once that's been done. Right, well I've now got the landing gear totally finished, it's all epoxied in place. As you can see here I've got the, the torsion bar on the end with the hole down for the, the landing gear to go down into. 
and I've got this 1.5 mil plywood here which just gives a bit of support to the end of the ribs you can see there and if we turn it over we can see there's some um, quarter inch triangular stock here that's uh, just just providing a little bit more strength it's all very simple and as per the plan no deviation from the plans I've also bent up the the, the landing gear wire using the 1 8 music wire and one thing I would say is that however you bend this, I mean I just bent it in a vise uh, with a hammer, however you bend this you're not going to get that perfectly sharp 90 degree in there, there's going to be a little bit of a radius so if you want it to sit down into there and locate into that slot you just have to take this corner off a little bit with a scalpel just to provide a little bit of room for that radius and that just slots down into there and into that slot really really nice I'm, I'm really pleased with that and we've got these plastic uh, clips here which just clip on really nice a lovely snug fit and they will just just a couple of screws through and that will hold that that really well and I've got my wheels Again, with, there'll be a couple of locks on either side just to hold the wheel on. Something nice and simple. And, uh, and that's finished. I'm, I'm really pleased. It's really simple. One thing I'm, I may do is, if you look at it at the moment, it's fairly upright. Fairly upright like that. I may just angle it back a little bit. But I'll, I'll, I'll wait and, and, and see how it looks on the, uh, on the finished plane. So, now... I, I, Moving on to the uh, servos for, for the wings, I'll just turn this round a little bit. I think that's probably a better way of showing it, create a little bit of space. So, I've got my uh, landing gear here and the wheel. Now, I, I'm going to mount the servo in this space here. I did think about mounting it here, but the last thing I want is water, dirt, flying off the wheel and going into the, uh, into the servo. So, I've been playing around a little bit and have created a few, a few things. Uh, let me just zoom out very slightly just to create a little bit more space. So I'm going to mount the servo in this bay here and the servos that I'm using for the wings they're, they're 20 gram servos from Emacs and we'll just focus on that sinks to the details so they're quite powerful servos for, for the weight and they're, they're metal geared they come with some quite nice fixing gear which is good some rubber grommets uh, they're, so they're, they look quite a nice servo I'm quite pleased with them and what I've done is I've mounted the servo onto a a tray or and cover which I'm going to put in this area here so at the moment that just slots in and I've got a slot in there for the uh, control arm to come out now I may need to make that a little bit bigger but we'll see smaller the better for now so that is just going to mount there like that and I'm going to run the wire through the ribs I've done a couple of a couple of holes which you can just see a couple of very small slots now it's only got to go through those two ribs to get into this open bay where the fuselage comes down onto the top so it should thread through without any problems the advantage of having it close into the into the the fuselage the sort of at the root of the wing is that the this cable isn't that long I think it's 200 mil maybe it's 250 um, yeah it's about 225 if I'd moved it out here then it would be a bit short in the fuselage and here I would need to extend it so this just seemed the ideal place to put it really and, and much easier to thread now to mount this servo plate I've made up a couple of bits of balsa that I'm going to glue in I've got this one here and I've, what I've done is I've actually put in bits of 3mm ply set in you can see and that's just where I'm going to have the attachment points to screw in and I've done the same here just a couple of pieces of balsa 
which I'm going to fit in there like that. And the same this side, like that, and then I'll probably just have a little piece going along here, a piece of two mil balsa, just to provide a slight overlap. And then that tray will just screw down onto there and, uh, and attach nicely. I've now got the servo mount finished with the exception of just putting in the four holes to screw it down where I've put in that 3mm ply underneath as an attachment point. And you can see on the ribs here I've left a little bit of space which allows the sheeting to butt up against that. The sheeting actually comes to this rib on this central uh, portion here and, and then along the front. And again the sheeting will just come up to there and like this. So that's a really nice snug fit now and if I just take that out we can see that the these have been glued into place so I've got this 316 I think it's 316 down the side yeah 316 down the side and then doubled up here just to support these three mil pieces of, of plywood that I'm going to screw into and that will be absolutely fine plenty plenty of strength in that there we go so now I'm just going to move on and do the second wing. Well, thanks for joining me with this build video and I hope you found it useful or interesting. And please subscribe, come back and, and see how we get on with the build and uh, we'll take you right through to the finished aircraft.